We're going to draw a little bit of everybody's blood, because we're going to find out who's the thing. Watching Norris in there gave me the idea that maybe every part of him was a whole. Every little piece was an individual animal with a built-in desire to protect its own life. Here's your look at the neck of toys. The Thing, Ultimate McCready, Station Survival. In the winter of 1982, a 12-man research team at a remote Antarctic research station discovers an alien buried in the snow for over 100,000 years. Once unfrozen, the form-changing alien wreaks havoc, creates terror, and becomes one of them. Better move fast before something wants to come along and mimic me. Before we get a closer look at the NECA toys, the thing, Ultimate McCready, Station Survival, I'd like to first thank the folks over at NECA that did in fact provide the sample of Ultimate McCready that we could have a look at in this review. A little later to unfortunately reviewing this figure, simply just because I was trying to find where I put the other McCready, the one that we looked at earlier here on this channel. Rest assured, I have found it, um, unless the alien has taken its form. Does it take the form of figures? I really hope not to find out. Before, like I said, we get a closer look, let's bring the ruler in, put it right to the very top of McCready's head. The figure stands at just a little under seven and a half. I think a closer read would be seven three eighths of an inch or almost 19 centimeters tall. Then to move over station survival McCready, and please not be an alien, please let it not be an alien. Let's bring in the original McCready so you can see the difference between the two. Yes, it is pretty much the same figure, they have changed a little bit of the paint. I see more of it, more in the jacket. See, the original McCready had a more shinier leather jacket, whereas the newer Survival McCready has a more matte finish brown. One thing also you may notice, too, is that the Ultimate Survival Station Survival Ultimate McCready also does have a gun holster, something that the original figure didn't have. As for the accessories, though, Station Survival McCready does get a lot of stuff coming included with them. But to be fair, really, the original McCready also came included with a lot of stuff, too. You'd be happy to know that there aren't any carryovers, no carbon copies of, of accessories going one from one figure to the other. There is the hooded head, but it isn't the same hooded head that came included with the original. More on that in a second. Starting first, McCready comes included with a little tiny handgun. I'm going to start things off first with it because it's simply just small and also because you can holster on the side of his leg. The gun itself is what seems to be molded here in maybe black plastic and then painted the handle done in brown. It's a nice looking revolver that again can fit into his hand or we'll get it out of the way right now. Just move his arm out of the way and located on the side, something that comes included with now this new release figure is has a little holster on the side. So you can take then the pistol and just fit it down to the side of his leg. And it's probably just going to stay there, I think, for the rest of the review. Considering for um, how many other things the figure comes included with, pistol is probably the last thing I'm going to probably dis decide to display with him. i put him down here for a second. The figure also comes included with an ice axe. Something that the original McCready did not, in fact, come included with. Again, painted quite pr pretty good. There's a little area right here, unfortunately, that I've got a little bit of brown that's bled onto the gray. I can't imagine it's on every single figure, but I'll certainly mention it with mine. But overall, nicely, uh, nice sculpted little ice axe. Nice to see that we actually get this included with the figure. When I certainly did have a look at the original McCready, there were things that, like unchecked boxes where I sort of thought to myself, I really wish he could have come included with this. And I really wish he could have come included with that. And while I may not say that the ice axe would have been one of those things that I wish was a checked off box with the original McCready, at least we sort of fill in the gaps with this release that so we get kind of those extra accessories that were lingering around before. The one thing the figure does also come included with is a stick of dynamite. And you can see, hopefully, it's not been lit. But it's a nice rounded stick comprised of many different cylinders of dynamite that are all been taped together. The tape as well been painted in also in nice black. A little bit of black. Unfortunately, I've got a little bit bleed on the side there. I guess somebody was painting and missed their mark a little bit. There's a little bit there in the middle. But other than that, it's a nice little stick of dynamite. Again, wasn't included with the original release. The figure also comes included with a blowtorch. Now, that was the one thing that a lot of people, you, the viewing audience, when first seeing that McCready really was commenting down below, I really wish he could have come included with the blowtorch. Well, he does. He comes included with the blowtorch, which is very nicely sculpted and equally painted here by NECA. Not only is it molded here in green plastic, but you can see like the little nozzles, even like weathering that they've done to the, each of the individual tanks, nicely painted here. Unfortunately, though, if I spin this around, one of the straps un unfortunately broke on mine. 
you can see how little of it clasps on to the pipe that comes down from the tanks. And while this one's still intact, unfortunately this one here broke right off. Now it's not too bad of a damage. In fact, if anything, I can clip that back into place. But this fits over on course on the back of the torso of McCready. I'll show you how that works right now. Just take the figure and we'll go ahead and just take his arms. Kind of just want to bring, bring his arms back. It's like dressing a small child. Just bend the elbows. I find those help as well. And then take the tank. The tanks are going to be facing upward. There's little nozzles there on the top. And then you're just going to fit this around his arm. Now, it's one so much easier to do it on the one arm because, unfortunately, the strap did break. I'm going to take then the other strap that did break and feed that around to the front of his torso. Just be careful of getting it around that you don't want to break the other one. Or at least in my case, I don't break the other one. And then make sure while you're doing it as well, this hose that runs then down to the, the actual nozzle, the thing that he's actually going to be carrying and holding around with him, you kind of want to make sure that's out of the way too. So just kind of keep that loose and out of the way. Then take, in this case, the other strap and just feed it around to the back. Ultimately, I think for this review, I'm just going to leave it as is, but I think rest assured, I probably will just be ultimately gluing in place. I really don't like the idea that that's broken off. I mean, you can see how small we're dealing with here, how small that little ringlet is. I mean, you can almost even see, is there a little extra crack that started to develop right here? I think there is. Oh my, oh my. I'm going to have to yeah, glue it back into place there. But then from there, you can easily then take the nozzle, take, take the actual gun portion, and then that just sort of slides into his hand. Now, the gloved hands right now that come included with the figure stock out of the box are really the ones I probably would end up displaying him with when it comes to the blowtorch. The other thing that you can also add on to it as well is the fact he does also come with a flame effect, which is a nice flame effect. I feel like I've seen this before. Um, it's done in nice translucent, starting first in like a yellowing color, but then it transitions to a much darker, richer yellow before kind of getting to an orange on the end of it. And speaking of the end of it, we can then take the end of it and attach it to the end nozzle of his gun. Again, I don't know if I would consider this a gun, but we're going to go with that for the time being. And that just fits onto the end of it, just like that. The hard part, though, with this particular McCready, where's the other one came included with the bottle and the little glass that he could drink out of? This one has a lot of strong contenders of things I would want to display with the figure, almost to even the point where I would consider maybe getting a second one of these just so I could accommodate the two looks that I want to go with. One such look is this look here with the blowtorch, because I think that's classic McCready. The other look, though, involves me having to kind of dismantle all the things I just finished doing. I'm going to remove the gun, very carefully bring the arm back here. And even though, again, I broke this one, I'm going to care be careful with the second one. Just slide that over his back. One last look at the back. Because I don't think I actually showed you that before. I showed, certainly showed you the front of the tank. I don't think I actually showed you the back, the way that it's all strapped in place. Just be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, said it already. Just be careful. Move that to the side. The other option available involves me also having to change on McCready's hands. I'm going to go ahead and have a look at the hands he comes included with. A couple of the hands are really good for holding, like, the nozzle of the blowtorch, for example. It's definitely a more gripping hand. It's also good for holding the revolver, the thing we first started the reviews with. He also comes with a Petri dish holding hand. Did I just give away what was the other thing that came included with the figure? Yes, he finally comes included with the Petri dish. Figure also comes included with a bunch of other gripping hands as well. Various different sizes of grip. This one is more kind of suitable, I think, for holding, like, the nozzle of the gun if you didn't want to use the gloved hands. And he also comes with another trigger firing hand as well. So if you want to have it on either side of the figure, you can certainly pull that off. Let's go ahead and take the hands off because we're going to have to need those for a second. We're going to need the new ones. Now to do this, just wiggle the hands off the socket and be careful of this part because this is separate. It's not, it's not part of the glove. Just remove the hands and then remove the cuff, the top of the glove and slide that off too because you really don't want to lose those. Do the same thing with the other side, remove the hand and then slide the top of the glove off as well. Put that to the side. Let's go ahead and grab, let's grab the Petri dish hand. I want to make sure I got the right hands here. Grab the Petri dish hand. That's going to slide onto this side and very long pegs. Very easy it was to remove the hands. I'm going to just wiggle that back into place. That's going to be for the Petri dish. And then for the actual wire spool, we're going to go ahead and take, let's grab this hand right here and just pop that into place. So we're kind of set. We're ready to go. I'm going to put him down for a second here. The figure also comes included. I'm just being very careful not to drop this. The figure comes included with a little tiny Petri dish. This was the one thing I really wish the original McCready could have come included with. And as you can see there, taped on the front of the Petri dish, it actually says Palmer. 
I'd marvel at the fact that they were able to print on something so small like that to something so easily able to be lost. I'm going to be very, very careful not to lose it. Now, you can either have it displayed with the so certainly right now untested version of the blood. You can see that the blood has been stained, painted nicely in the red at the bottom of the Petri dish. Or if you want to have one that's already been mutated, there is, let me just put this down here for a second. There's sort of the escaping thing that comes out from the blood, and that's been handled well with a translucent red plastic. Kind of looks like a cherry gummy. Probably not something you would want to be putting in your mouth. Yes, I can tell you, not something you want to be putting in your mouth. So let's go ahead, and actually one last thing we can also look at too before we start assembling McCready. He also comes with a wire spool. Heats that up, of course, scratches it across the surface of the blood to tell whether or not you're one of the things, or the thing. So it comes included with that as well. If you want to get those into his hand, careful while doing it, go ahead and take the Petri dish, slide that into his hand. One good thing is you can actually, it fits well actually in between his fingers. You see the fingers and the thumb. And then from there, let's go ahead and take the spool. Spool is a little harder of the two things to get in because you kind of have to get it in between. I'm going to put the figure down here for one second and just sort of put the spool in between his thumb and his pointer finger. And be careful that you're not dropping anything in the process because boy, oh boy, you know, you know, at the luck that I generally have when it comes to small accessories like this, you know, I would be so susceptible. Oh, I don't even want to say it. There's the spool in his hand. And then from there, you can go ahead and take then the thing and just fit that into the Petri dish and just be careful while doing everything. And that's what it looks like. Uh, short of me actually just adjusting the spool just a little bit. You got the spool in the one hand, and then you've got now the thing escaping out from the blood-soaked, blood-filled Petri dish. The only disappointing aspect of it is the fact that the way the elbows are bent, you can't actually bring... Careful, careful, careful. You can't actually bring it close enough to make it look like he's actually scratching the surface. You can get it pretty close because the arms do come in, but it's not quite. I guess you can get pretty close where it makes it look like he's actually scratching the burnt end of the wire against the Petri dish. So happy, so happy, who <laughs> almost dropped it. So happy to see that they actually did include it with this figure. The other thing that comes included with McCready, putting the figure back down, recovering none of the losses, he comes also included with the hooded head. Now, if you think for a second that the hooded head is the same one that came included with the original McCready, you're close, but no cigar. Because the other one that came included with McCready is this one here that had an open mouth, a little more red on the nose and red around the lips. There was also, holding these two, carefully, he also came in clue with this one. Now, the one, the two on this end, this side right here, were the one that came in clue with the original McCready. The one with just the more regular face, neutral face expression, is the one that came in clue with this one. If you wanted to, you can easily change out the heads. Go ahead and grab McCready, pop the head off the ball joint, and then replace it with the neutral expression hooded head. Like that. And then if you wanted to, too, going back onto looking at the accessories that came included with the original McCready, remember the other one came included with a hat? doesn't come included with this figure, but yeah, you can easily just use the hat. Because after all, it still fits the same shape of the head. There's that option. And going back to other accessories that came included with the other McCready, the beauty of these is the fact that you can really mix and match these. So you can also then take the glasses, careful, 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 and you can fit them over top. I, oh, I just knew I was going to drop them. You can place them over top of his nose. You know what? Let's just remove the hat for now. Tuck the glasses in underneath the hood. They seem to be all thumbs in this review. But just fit them underneath the hood. And do the exact same thing on the other side. You know what? Hold on one second. Too many small accessories to come include with this figure. Plus moisturized hands. I know I'm just asking for trouble. Anyways, you can use the glasses that came included with the original McCready. And of course, you can also use the hat that came included with the original figure as well. Now, really, being that the fact that this is essentially the same figure, all the thing I just finished doing with a little bit of nervousness doing it, you can easily just mix and match the parts that came included with the other figure as well. So we'll go ahead and just take the hat off, carefully, carefully removing the glasses. Yeah, the other head sculpts, the other hooded head sculpts, you can easily just mix and match and use it with this body. I know you're probably asking yourself, well, if you already have this figure, what would be even the point of mixing and matching? It's really, again, only because this particular figure does have the holster on the side of his leg, whereas the original McCready didn't. Speaking of which as well, you can also take off with that same logic, the head sculpt that comes included with the newer one, remove the one that came included with the original McCready, 
And again, if you wanted to, and you want the regular neutral mouth expression, you can go with this one instead. I guess while we are certainly switching things out for the time being, I want to show you guys the difference between the two heads of McCready. This was the one for the survival station. This was the original McCready. Not much different, really, other than, again, this one does have the open mouth, a little more worry in his eyes. And I feel like the paint is a little bit cleaner here on the, on the newer McCready than the original one. The original one seemed a little softer the way that they applied the paint. I feel it looks a little sharper here on the newer release. Now, does it still look like Kurt Russell? It's debatable. I think in some regards it does. There's a f there, there's something still off on this particular face. I happen to think it's maybe the eyes, but I think it looks more like him on the newer release than it did on the original one. Let's just go ahead and pop that back off and replace it, because after all, this is the one that comes included with the figure. We'll just put that back into place. But then, yeah, one last look. The original one, the newer, McCready. Hair is exactly the same, it seems. They haven't changed anything out between the two. I mean, is there the option as well that they could maybe down the road release another McCready after now having already covered off two? Uh, pretty much the identical figure. I think still there's an option for them to do like a frostbitten McCready from the end of the film. Just essentially re-release this figure and just give him like a frost, tr a frost treatment. Sort of like that steel mill station uh, T-1000 that they released before, where they sort of essentially took the figure and gave it like a frosted treatment to make it look like it was frozen by the liquid nitrogen. I think they could almost do something similar with McCready as well. Put the figure down here for one last second. Promise. The other thing I want to just go back to is the other accessories that came included with the original McCready. Again, they haven't reused any of the things before. So the original one did come include with the goggles, did also come include with the, the lamp, did also come include with the shotgun. All of stuff I know we've already covered off. And also came include with not only the bottle, but also the glass. Helps if the glass is not upside down. So again, really nothing has been reused between the two figures. One last time, just go ahead and put the head sculpt back on the original figure. I wanted to again brought, draw your attention to the fact that between the two, the jackets, yeah, are a lot more matter of a paint finish on the newer release than the shinier one that we got before. Pants seem pretty similar. I don't think they've changed much of anything here, other than, again, they've holstered a little side on the side of his leg for, of course, to hold the gun. Arms look to be the same. On the back, the figures look like, yeah, identical, other than this one has some additional sculpted paint and sculpted details on the back to have the additional bullets fed into the back of the belt. I still think it's a good-looking figure. It, would there be, an, again, an option for them to do another McCready? I mean, I think there's always room for a frostbitten version. But at least they did kind of finish off what I thought was unchecked boxes. I already mentioned in this review. The original McCready didn't have the Petri dish. The original one, no, didn't come included with the little uh, wire spool, for example, and didn't come included with the blowtorch. I thought those were all things that should have really come included with the, the, the other one. And yeah, even though we are kind of getting essentially like the same figure here, uh, basically from like the head down, other than just the, the additional belt, at least we get ourselves a different head sculpt. And at least technically as well, we get two different head sculpts. So if you didn't want to use like this one, maybe not for this figure, but if you want to use it for the original McCready, I say, why not? For the posability on this figure, it's going to be the exact same as the original one. The head is on a ball joint, so it does rotate back and forth. It does look up, does look down, and it does look back and forth. As for the arms, the arms do come out. Now, they don't seem to come out beyond the point of a 45-degree angle bend. Anything past that point, I feel like I'm fighting it to the point where I run the risk of potentially breaking the shoulders. But it does seem like 45 after that, it's no go. Don't go any further than that. The arms rotate all the way around. They squeak and creak just because they're rubbing up against a softer plastic material that they use for the rest of the jacket. But they do rotate all the way around. The figure does have a single hinge in the elbow, which also serves to allow the arm to rotate back and forth this way. And McCready's hands, while sticking with the regular flush hands for now, hands rotate all the way around. The figure has an upper torso ball joint. The legs split out. You can bring the legs forward. And of course, you can bring the legs back. Because of the way that they're also assembled to the ball joint inside, it also allows the top of the leg to rotate back and forth this way too. The figure has a single hinge in the knee, which also allows the lower leg to rotate back and forth. And when it comes to his boots, his boots, because they're assembled like this, they also have an additional articulation point. I mean, not that you would really display McCready with his leg going the opposite way, I guess, unless he broke his leg. But yeah, there's that option there. There's a little bit of rotation there. The feet go up and down this way. And McCready's boots also do have an ankle pivot. And really, at the end of the day, it's not that much different than the original McCready that we got before. I'm going to put down the station survival. What was he called? The survive, surviving station? Station survival. Station survival. And then we'll put in the original McCready. 
to again, one last look to show you guys. Not much different, no. Still an opportunity for NECA toys to kind of right the wrong that the original McCready didn't have. He didn't have the Petri dish, no. That was the one that was the one thing I even mentioned in that review. I really wish he could have come in clue with the Petri dish. And he doesn't come in clue or didn't come in clue with the blowtorch. They have rectified things and not simply just given us a same carbon copy. Carbon copy, yes, from essentially like the neck down, other than the belt is different. But they didn't give us like the same heads. I think if they had given us the exact same heads, I would have said it's nice to get another release of McCready, but for essentially getting the same figure with now new accessories, I might just be happy to stick with the original one. But no, they actually did give us a different head sculpt. Not only a different head sculpt for the one that you're seeing right now, but also a different hooded head sculpt that you can either use for this figure, or you can easily default it and use it with the original McCready that we got before. Technically, no, NECA didn't really need to release the Station Survival McCready if the original McCready came included with the Blowtorch and the Petri Dish. Those were two things that I felt were lacking in the original release, and many collectors agreed with that as well. The figure really needed those two set accessories. At least NECA did rectify things with a second release of McCready, which wasn't really just a case of repackaging the exact same figure and slapping in the missing accessories. In some regards, yeah, it's mostly the same figure, but at least the body is changed by adding the belt and the holster on the side to hold his pistol. As well, he does get a brand new head. Technically, he does get two different head sculpts. And I would even argue the new head sculpt that we get that you see right now in Final Oaks actually looks a little more like Kurt Russell than the original one that we got with the original McCready. It's still off a little bit, but I think that this one looks a little more the likeness of the character than the original one that we get before. And again, with the all the accessories that you get be, really between the two figures, easily mix and match and get the look that you want. I think I'm probably considering getting a second one of these because then I can have it displayed with the Petri dish. Now, I know you're probably thinking to yourself, well, you already have the other McCready. Can't you just put the Petri dish in his hand? I could, but I think I'm also going to be displaying the other McCready with the hooded head and the hat and maybe the, the, the glasses. So I would probably want to get maybe another one of these so I can have a blowtorch version of McCready and I could have one with the Petri dish in his hand. Checking again all the boxes that I think were missing in the original release. What do you guys think of the figure? Let me know down below in the comments section. And if you already have the original McCready, based on the stuff that you get in this release and based on the fact that we get a brand new head sculpt, is it enough justifying to pick up this figure as well? Also, a big thank you to the folks over at NECA Toys. that did provide the sample of the Ultimate McCready that we could have a look at in this review. A little later, I know, a little later to the game when it comes to reviewing this guy, I had to, I had to go around looking all over the place. And sure enough, whenever you're wanting to find something is whenever you can't find it. As soon as you give up and you start looking at something else, that's when it pops up. That wasn't the case with McCready. I had to look all over the place. But at least I did find the original McCready because I did want to do the comparison in this review. A big thank you again to the folks over at NECA Toys for providing this figure. For your video question for today, if I can pose it to you, the viewing audience, what's your favorite John Carpenter movie? Pretty straightforward. doesn't have to necessarily be the thing. It could be Halloween, the original Halloween. It could be really technically Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween 3, really, to some regards. It could also be like Christine. My favorites are Christine, Thing, and Halloween, but what's your favorite John Carpenter movie? Let me know down below in the comments section. And hey, now, if you are new to this channel, you're enjoying the content you're seeing, a couple of things you can do for yourself, one of which you can hit that subscribe button down below. You can also turn on the bell notification. I know it just sounds like something I just throw out, I dribble out at the end of these reviews, but honestly, hitting that bell notification is your best way, first of all, of getting those friendly reminders of whenever new videos are going to be popping up, but it also helps this channel out too. It says to YouTube that there are people engaging in this channel, and it recommends this channel to maybe people that, people that aren't aware of this channel existing. Also, you can do one other thing for yourself, is periodically coming back to checking out the channel's homepage. Sometimes when mentioned to other viewers, have you guys seen the videos that are going on this channel on a regular basis? Some people do say no, but they usually say I've checked out the homepage and I can easily go kind of across looking at the thumbnails and I can say, okay, I haven't seen that one. That one was good. I like that one. Thank you for that, by the way. I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen that one. So periodically do yourself a service, check out the homepage and you'll be able to scroll across, check out all the thumbnails that I've done there and you'll be able to know right away anything that you may have missed, any videos from older times. Um, also, you can check out the playlist of the NECA reviews at the very end of this video. It should be popping up shortly. That's also all the videos I've done for NECA in the previous years. So if you guys want to see all the stuff I've done for NECA, click on the playlist at the very end of this video. Lots of stuff coming your way, guys. Lots of more, lots more NECA reviews coming your way. So make sure you keep your peepers peeled to this channel. As always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.